We're here in sunny Southern California, home of the reigning MLS Cup champions, Los Angeles Football Club. That's what I'm talking about. Championship banners. To experience a wild 24 hours through the eyes of a super fan of both FC Bayern and LAFC. Oh! Let's go! This is the FC Bayern fan crossover, LAFC edition. Billy. The man, the myth, the rich. What's up, buddy? How are you, dude? Good to see you. Welcome back to LA. Appreciate you, man. Let's, uh, let's get going. Game let's, time, yeah? Game time, baby. Let's go. The House of Football in Highland Park, Los Angeles. It's a yeah. church, but now it's a house of worship. A house where we worship football. Beautiful. And a perfect place to catch the 6.30 kickoff. No better place. No better 6:30. place. Open this up like right around like the COVID time period, which obviously was tough. But how it's grown, how it's developed. Like you come here and there were like two or three people, and then slowly but surely it start get, it starts getting packed. I mean, look at how many people are here this, today, this morning. Yeah, and we're looking 6:55 a.m. on on a Saturday in Los Angeles. This used to be a church, and they obviously converted it into the space that you see here. So you got to worship something to get up early in the morning. Worshiping so, the beautiful game, yeah. What is it about the energy and the atmosphere of watching Bayern together with other people? You, it's that excitement, like you feed yeah. off of people's energy, feed off of people's vibes. You have yeah. people to commiserate with in, in case the results go the wrong way. Sure, hopefully not. But. No, of course not. Of course not. Yeah. But then also people to celebrate with. Yeah. The beautiful thing about football is you get to meet people that you would have never, never otherwise met before. Great point. Something for you guys for hosting us this morning. Riding early. It's awesome. Alfonso Davies signed jersey. Throw this oh guy up on the wall, do whatever you want. That's for you guys. Oh. Philly, <laughs> we started the day with a win. Yes, sir. Now take me upstairs. That energy was great. Show me what we got going upstairs. You're going to spend a lot of money, just warning you right now. <laughs> okay. Voila. The House of Football, as you can see, we weren't joking. I mean, this literally is a cathedral to vintage kids. My father's side of the family, they immigrated from Eastern Europe, Romania to be specific, and they went and settled in Munich. My mother's side, they immigrated to New York. So every summer, we would leave New York and spend it in Munich. In 1990, I was in Munich when West Germany beat Argentina. Wow. Up to that point, the only thing that I loved and knew was baseball and the New York Mets. At that point, that's when I got indoctrinated into the sport. Then I had my cousins, then I had my uncles, then I had my aunts, then I had their cousins that I've never even met before throwing Bayern Munich gear my way. 94, my father in finance took a job where we moved to Germany. So at that point, you know, you drop the baseball, you drop the basketball. Yeah, of course. And it's the Bundesliga. And when I moved back to the US in 1998, my family, they would still send me gear, whether it be a scarf, whether it be a jersey. So you still have that touch point to the team. Absolutely. And for me, it gets even more personal because in 2016, when I moved out to Los Angeles, uh, I'd just seen my cousin, my only first cousin, a couple of months prior in New York. But um, he unfortunately lost his life Christmas Eve driving to my aunt's house for, 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 for dinner. So anytime I think of Bayern, in particular, I think of him. As my only first cousin, he meant the world to me. I mean, he yeah. indoctrinated me in so many things. So for me, it's, yeah. it hits to the core. Do you feel that connection on a family level to Bayern Munich? I mean, absolutely, because like, I, I, it's something I can talk to my family about. It's, the beautiful thing about sport in general is you could go months without having any kind of conversations with the family. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, the team's on TV, succeeding. So there's ways to still connect. 
Well, on that note, why don't you show me some of the kits that have meant the most to you over the years? Yeah, yeah, of course. Rich, I don't think it's gonna fit me. It might fit you well. He, he's leading the team in assists. I mean, Thomas Müller. This man right here does not have to pay for a drink for the rest of his career. This guy was an assassin. Robin. Iron than that between guys like him, Lam, obviously Basti. I mean, that's that's Bayern, bro. <laughs> it's Bayern, bro. <laughs> we got a dynamite breakfast burrito here with all of life's necessities. Salsa. That's what makes the breakfast burrito. Breakfast. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around this morning. No doubt. Game one of one. Yo, you ain't MTV Cribs. <laughs> What's, What's up, man? Appreciate you having us here. Yeah, like, welcome to my humble abode. About to walk into world famous Phila Monster Studios. See ya. I'm excited. It's where I record a lot of podcasts, do a lot of fun media stuff, record some music. Got the whole setup here, man. Yeah. Ready to go. So, Philly. How did you fall in love with LAFC and what makes this club special? So I moved here in 2016 with my wife. We didn't have any friends or family out here. We took job opportunities to move out from the East Coast to the West. Uh, and how we came across LAFC originally, believe it or not, was the newspaper. There was a put your deposit down scenario and we signed on to our season tickets in 2017. Fast forward to 2018, April, uh, we get to Bank of California Stadium. We're at the game and we fell in love. It was love at first sight. It was anything, everything that I would have wanted. All of my friends that I've made in LA, all of my social networks, business opportunities, anything you can think of, it all stems from LAFC. Now, you also mentioned something about a podcast here. Talk to us about how you live your fandom in your everyday life. I met my best friend two rows in front of me in the Founders Club. We started an LAFC podcast late, late 2018, starting 2019. 240 episodes in, we've been downloaded a quarter million times in countless countries. We go to the games, even if it's a 7 p.m. game. We're there 9, 10 a.m. on Christmas tree lane with our tent. We go to the game, we watch the game. We come back later, we record the podcast. That'll take us to about two or three in the morning, and then that's it. And so these are long days for us, but wow. I mean, when you love what you're doing and you love everything around you, it doesn't feel like work. We had a player that we love, Chicho Arango. He'll, he'll pop in on our Instagram lives when we're filming at the stadium. It's, it's just so cool to like be that close and that wow. connected. That's definitely one of the benefits of having created the pod. Talk us through what the rest of your day looks like. Where do we go from here? So from here on out, we're gonna head on over to Christmas Tree Lane where you're really gonna get to feel the heartbeat of this team. Thought that breakfast burrito you had earlier was, was top notch. Wait till you have some uh, pupusas and some chilaquiles. She's gonna make my mouth water just thinking about it. I mean, let's get in the car and go right now. I'm, I'm ready to Let, go. I'll drive, let's go. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that LA traffic, but here we are. What's up, everybody? Welcome, Welcome to Christmas Tree Lane. Thank you for having us. Alright man, time to head in LAFC HQ. We got the championship shirts, that's what I'm talking about. We got the new kits this year. Smoke screen green, baby. Nice. Nice, man. And the Sunset Club, and that's where the main concourse is. Wow. If there was ever a home away from home, it's the Founders Club. This is where I've been since day zero. The BMO Founders Club, let me correct myself. Hello ladies, how are you? Hi guys. This is where, if I was a season ticket holder, which I am, yeah. this is where I would sit. This is where you do sit. Yeah, this is exactly where I sit. I, I couldn't have it any other way. What you're looking at to orientate yourself, that's the north end. City view, but more importantly, Rich, banners. Championship banners. 2022. Love to see it. Take me to your seats. Where are your seats? Right down here. Let's do it. And I'm not obstructing anybody's view. Beautiful downtown Los Angeles. players coming in through here wow. from both sides entering onto the pitch that way so you get to look at your heroes you might get to high five somebody on the way out so this is this is pretty cool wow here we are Billy right on the pitch right for game time the anticipation wow. the excitement and of course the man the myth the other legend welcome Hello. for 
us, German football culture was an aspiration. We studied it, we visited, and there's a lot of Antolinos who already know about football culture. They just didn't have the home. They didn't have a safe standing supporter section, to be really specific. So when we created the home, people came. pleasure hope you had a good time hope I was entertaining enough and always. informative enough more importantly I hope you had a good time always always it's crazy 24 hours zero your eyes FC Byron and LAFC just a day in the life of just a day in the life of Philly Woo! switch <laughs>